Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to share um, rabbit trail space. I'm going to be doing uh, rabbit trail space with my son for science starting in January. So I just wanted to share with you uh, just a little bit of what the lessons look like and I have another video of, of their history for, um, you know, career unit. So you can go and check that one out. But for science, he wanted to do, we, we finished our science that we were doing weather and he wanted to do something different or I wanted to do something different. So I asked him, I gave him two choices and he picked space. So um, we're gonna be doing a science, uh, rabbit trails through science space. And this is a whole year unit. The, um, so I don't know if we'll be able to finish by May or whenever we decide to finish school, but we'll we'll do as much as we can. So if you don't know, Rabbit Trail uh, Homeschool or uh, the units are you learn by reading good books and doing fun activities. That's how I how can I describe it to you? You read amazing books that are picked by the creator, you know, Christine Zell, and. And then you do activities with those books and what, it, and what you know, I put in the theme that you are studying. So each unit uh, <clears throat> has, so space, there are going to be two main books that we're going to be reading. So we're going to have, I just, I just got this one in the mail, Mysteries of the Universe by DK. And we also have Comet, Stars, the Moon, and Mars. And I don't have that one yet. But, so these are going to be kind of the two main core books. The two books that you are going to need for each of the lessons for each week of the unit. And there's also books in here that she recommends to go more into a rabbit trail and also some library books just to read a little bit more about your topic. So we are in this unit, uh, we are going to be talking, you know, we're going to go through the Earth, all the planets, asteroid, comets, some spaces, you know, exploration. And each unit and, or each week, you're going to, you know, concentrate on a different planet and a different, you know, different thing. So I want to show you how this are laid out. All the lessons are laid out the same, which I appreciate. Um, they are the one thing that I love about rabbit trails, especially if you have a kid like mine, uh, it, they are simple lessons. Lessons are based on a wonderful book. So you're going to be reading a lot of books and doing fun activities with your kids, hands on things that you have at home. They don't have to spend a lot of extra money and there's not a lot of writing and a lot of, you know, there's no worksheets or anything like that. You can do some notebooking, but that's the extent. You're not going to be getting all these worksheets and things to do. So that's why I, I absolutely love this. So these are the two core, the two, two core in a curriculum books that we're going to be using. And then the first lesson is introduction to space. I'm going to show you really quick what, how the lesson looks like and all the lessons are um, set up the same way. So the first one, this is going to ask you to read some per, uh, some pages from this book and some pages from the other book, you know, the Comet Stars and Moon book. Then you're going to have a little lesson, something to read here, and, and also some, you know, copy work. If you choose to do the copy work, you don't have to do the copy work, but if you choose uh, to do it, it is right here. And you are, might have something from the book that you're reading. It might be from a Bible verse that goes to what you're studying. So you have that, that option here. So that's usually, that's going to be at the beginning. Then you're going to have a, a fun activity to do. So in this activity, we're going to learn how far away, you know, the planets are from the sun. So we have a hands-on activity that the kids, you know, you're able to do with the kids outside. So, so, so they can visualize how far, you know, the planets are apart. Then we have in each lesson, you're going to have a list of books to read to go into some rabbit trails. And so these are the, the you know, the books to go on your rabbit trails. And then you have some library books to go a little bit more into what you are, you know, studying. This books are recommendations. You might not find, like, I, I go through the list and some books are not in the library. And um, just to save some money, I'm not gonna purchase all the books. So I go in the library and I, I try to find as many as, as I can from, you know, from this list that are there, and then I'll go into Hoopla, or I go into Libby, and I try to find other books. Sometimes you can even go on YouTube, and you'll be able to find somebody reading the book, or, uh, you know, or there's also books.com. So try to find the book if, if you can't, you know, for free at the library or any of those re resources, you don't have to buy all the books. What I've been doing, I just buy the two main books, and then the other ones I try to find uh, you know, and those, you know, different places. So try to find something that's kind of with, with the same theme and just read those books because these are, you know, su suggestions that she gives. 
And then uh, at the end of that section or that week, uh, you're going to have more ideas of things to do. Um, for this one, in the at the end of each slide or the end of each week of the more ideas section, there's going to be some words for, for some you know vocabulary words. These are words that you can have your student write down and illustrate them. The, the older you can work on looking in the dictionary, looking online for the definition, and you can either write them in a notebook, write them on cards, on a poster board, however you want to. Um, so my son doesn't like writing too much, but I think I'm going to have maybe not do all of them, maybe pick a couple and we can work on looking words in dictionary. We've never done that before. So, and she also gives in, in the section for the books, she also, you know, gives you a place where you can go find a, a YouTube video that you can watch with your kids. So that's pretty neat. So all the lessons are set up the same way. You read from the two main books. Then you're going to do some copy work, a little lesson that you're going to read. You have the hands-on activity. So this one's about the sun. Hands-on activity. List of books to go on the rabbit trails. Library books to go a little bit more deeper on the subject. And then more ideas or things to do with the vocabulary words on top. So this is how all the lessons. We're going to go through all the planets, uh, the comets, asteroids, and then the last one is space exploration. All these lessons takes about two weeks to do. It takes us more than two weeks to, to do because just the way it is. But you work as you can. Like this is a whole year curriculum, but you know, for, for you to do the whole year, we're starting in January. So I don't know how much we're gonna, how long we're just gonna take this, but we're gonna do as much as we can. Just have fun with it. This is, this is just a fun, you know, curriculum. It is just absolutely wonderful. I love the hands-on activities that are simple, no worksheets, and just so you to have fun and learn by reading amazing books with your children. So that's one of the things that I love about Rabbit Trails Homeschool. So if you have any questions, make sure you post them below. I'm going to leave a link where you can purchase Rabbit Trails and they're amazing. It is an amazing company, you know, Christine Sell. Uh, I, don't, I don't know her personally, but just from interaction with her online, she just, just looks like an amazing lady and I would love, love to meet her one day. She's pretty sweet. So in, when you purchase the program, uh, if you use my code BRAVE10, you can get, you know, 10% off the, you know, the download. It's just a download, you get it and you, you know, print it out. They're not going to send you anything. Uh, you know, every, they're just going to send you, you know, the downloads and you, and you print those out. Okay. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.